So Trump's inner circle is acting like the mafia. I think it's fair to say that. And this is a great example of it here. So Washington Post did an investigation. Look at this. Trump aid sought payments from job seekers internal legal review found. Boris Epstein used his proximity to the president-elect to benefit himself, a Trump legal review found. He denies the allegation. Okay. <clears throat> so this guy is a top lawyer to Trump. Um, this guy, also, I think he was charged or maybe even gone to prison a little bit for being involved in the fake elector slates and the 2020 attempt to steal the election. Um, but the way that this guy was acting, the way that this guy was acting is astonishing. So here, let me give you some of the information. The existence of the review itself was first reported by CNN. So it was an internal Trump team like, hey, what's this guy doing? And then they release this information. Some of the elements of Epstein's conduct were first reported by Just the News, a conservative website on Monday afternoon. That outlet said it had spoken to Trump who had criticized anyone who seeks to make money off him. Quote, I suppose, I suppose every president has people around them who try to make money off them on the outside. It's a shame. But it happens, Trump said, according to the outlet. But no one working for me in any capacity should be looking to make money. The report highlights what has been a significant potential conflict of interest in Trump's political orbit. Many of the allies and advisors around him also advocate for other candidates and business interests and their payments are not always disclosed to Trump or his top advisors. Epstein has long been viewed with suspicion by some other Trump advisors because of his stable of private clients. Epstein denied the allegations. So this is denial here, whatever. Trump spokesman Stephen Chung said the review was part of a broader look at campaign consulting contracts. Chung did not address Epstein's status moving forward. As is standard practice, a broader view of the campaign's consulting agreements has been conducted and completed, uh, including as to Boris, among others. We are now moving ahead together as a team to help Trump make America great again, blah, blah, blah. The legal review described what it called a troubling pattern of Epstein's approaching people who sought access to Trump and offering help if they would give him monthly consulting fees, creating conflicts of interest. So listen to this. According to the report, one day after Besant, this is somebody who Trump was considering for, shit, what was it? Treasury Secretary? I think he ended up going with him as Treasury Secretary. Um, one day after Besant met with Trump for the first time in February, Epstein invited him to lunch at a Palm Beach hotel, where Epstein asked for a monthly stipend of at least $30,000 per month to promote Besant around the club. Talking about Mar-a-Lago. Besant did not agree and told an aide to Epstein that Epstein shook him down, people familiar with the finding said. Epstein later asked Besant to invest $10 million in a three-on-three -three basketball league. Again, Besant declined, though he believed that if he invested, Epstein would treat him more favorably, according to a person familiar with the report's findings. After the election, Besant came to believe that Epstein was knifing him as he sought to be chosen to serve as Trump's Treasury Secretary, according to the report. In a call set up between the two... Okay, by, by the way, so... I actually don't know if he got Treasury. He may have gotten a different, like, economic position. Anyway, uh, Epstein said he was, quote... Boris fucking Epstein, and that Besson should have paid for his services sooner. According to the person familiar with the legal findings, he later confronted Besson in person at Mar-a-Lago in what witnesses believe to be an intimidating way. The legal review found in an exchange that was viewed by multiple Trump allies. A spokeswoman for Besson declined to comment. Soon after the election, this gets crazier, guys. Epstein also approached a former Trump administration employee who now works as a defense contractor, according to the legal review. By the way, look at... Look at the swamp. This is the entire fucking swamp around Trump. Uh, now works as a defense contractor, and he was buddy-buddy with Tr Jesus Christ. He tried to get the contractor to pay him 100000 per month through the transition period. Wow, 100000 per month. Epstein told the contractor that he knew whom to talk to at the Defense Department, and the contractor's businesses depended on it, according to the findings. Wow. The contractor declined saying the proposal made him uncomfortable and spoke to the lawyers conducting the review, people familiar with the matter said. Epstein worked for Trump following the 2020 presidential election and was indicted in Arizona for his role in organizing Republican electors to falsely attest that Trump won the state. Yeah, he pleaded not guilty. He was also arrested in Arizona in an unrelated matter in 2021, eventually pleading guilty to drunk and disorderly conduct. He has subsequently led the president's legal team in recent years as Trump faced multiple criminal indictments. So in other words, what this guy is doing is he is trying to get connected to rich and powerful people, 
shaking them down, taking payments, and then working on the Trump transition team where he's like, hey, let me recommend this person for this job or that person for that job. And those are the people who are paying him. It's not by merit. It's not by intelligence. It's not by ideology. It's not by how competent they are. It's, hey, pay me. I'll get Trump to pick you. And they go on to explain in this article, by the way, that Epstein knows exactly how to work Trump. Somebody called him the good news fairy. So like he'll call Trump, I saw this amazing article, talked about this amazing thing you did. Man, you deserve a lot of credit. Everybody's saying this is wonderful. I, this is beautiful. It's so great, Mr. President. So he butters him up. He butters him up. He fluffs up his ego and treats him like a god among men. And of course, Trump loves that. You just need to flatter him and, all, and he'll love you forever, right? That's what Ep Epstein does. And that, in his mind, gave him the leeway. I'm going to shake down all these people and try to get, you know, get them positions of power. Now, here's the deeper question, though. Here's the deeper question. How much of this, first of all, how much of this is going on? How many people are doing what Epstein is doing here around Trump, right? How many people are doing that? But then also, did Trump really not know about it? And if Trump does know about it, was Trump getting a cut of the money that the other people were getting by shaking down people for positions of power? Because if there's one thing we know about Trump, it's it's all out in the open, right? Like, they don't even bother to hide the corruption anymore. They don't even bother to hide it. Remember the, in the first term, he came out and said, oh, I'm, putting, I'm putting my money in a blind trust. I won't make any money while I'm president. And then he just, like, handed it over to his sons, and he kept making money the entire time. He made $160 million from foreign countries while he was president, which is an insane violation of the Emoluments Clause. He's selling the $100,000 watches, which is just a giant money laundering scheme and a scheme to bring in billionaire money and foreign government money to, so that when he becomes president, he'll serve those people. He's got all these things, selling the NFTs and all this bullshit, right? It's all out in the open. It's all there. Saudi Arabia, the Live Golf deal, it's all there. So... He got Supreme Court immunity. Anything that's an official act, you can get away with it. Well, he probably thinks this is just how business is done. This is what we do. So how do we know Trump's not getting a cut of all these people around him who are shaking down people to get positions in the administration? Right? It's a reasonable question to ask. It's a reasonable question. Now, he's dealing with the big money. He's dealing with Israel. He's dealing with Saudi Arabia. He's dealing with billionaires. He's dealing with big corporations. But if Epstein is doing this, that means others are probably doing it around Trump. And what, Trump didn't know? Or does he know? And he's in on it and he gets a cut. I don't know, man. But this this is functioning way more like the mob than it is like a government for a civilized country. So, I don't know. What's so crazy to me is that here's this story. We're talking about it. It really won't be talked about that much in mainstream media. And I'm not even convinced that if you tell people this, that they're like, oh, that's horrible. We shouldn't have voted for these people. Because I can see people looking at this being like, yeah, that's how it works with everybody. Like, okay, it is what it is. Like, we're not some fucking developing country, right? We're supposed to be a serious country. We're supposed to be against corruption. We're supposed to be having a government that represents us. And this is the sort of shit that they're doing. So anyway, I hope he gets what he has coming to him. But number one, I don't know if he will. Number two, there's a lot of other people doing it. Number three, Trump might be in on it. So if he buttered up Trump's ego enough, Trump will overlook it and it'll be fine. And here we are the most corrupt administration in U.S. history, the most billionaires and Wall Street executives you've ever seen, and the most neocons. That's where we are with Trump. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.